Hi all, welcome to Navya Market Syndicate. This is our fundamental view on Lakshmi and Chenpur Syndicate. Like our earlier picks, Lakshmi and Chen Foods, which is also known as Leaf, is also taken through top to bottom approach. Leaf is a right stock. Let us first see why did we choose this right space. In the present scenario, the production estimate for Kharif season is down 15%. The overall production is also expected to down, expected to be down almost 15 percent. That is Kari plus Ravi sir, you know Ravi. Even though government is having existing, existing stocks of 15 million tons, uh, the strong demand of 92 million tons, you know, plus the decline in production would more than compensate for the existing, you know, existing stocks. And this may deplete the reserve stocks too. 5.15 million tons, which is below the minimum reserve norm of 5.2 million tons. This may force the government to import import rice. But already international prices are up on the Philippines importing, and just the news that India would be a net importer this season has pushed the prices up. And also the stock discipline ratio may significantly reduce to 41 percent in 2009. In this scenario, if government starts importing. Mm. Then the domestic prices also would move to the international levels and the prices may rise very heavily. In this scenario, let us see why did we choose leaf in the whole rice pack. Leaf is located in Punjab and Haryana and this year in a surprising manner, even though the whole of India, in, in whole of India, the cultivation is uh, you know uh, drastically hit by drought and floods. In Punjab and Haryana could report a rise in rice production. This rise in rice production would help the mills in Punjab to operate at high capacities and this would in turn help leaf to operate, you know, to have high capacity utilization. So it can benefit on two fronts, that is volume front, also on the price front as retail prices are supposed, you know, are expected to rise. And as integrated in large the rice mill is, uh, such use will be its benefits and profits, you know, from byproduct re realizations. And leaf is the largest non basmati player, I mean, largest integrated non basmati non basmati player in India. So it is supposed to benefit the most among all the players. And, it, and apart from this, its power plant initiatives from you know using the husk as fuel and also biomass. It, it could produce it could produce high profit margins and because of that if you see in the last year its margins are you know significantly increased. Uh, let us see the company profile of Lakshmi Energy Foods. Uh, its operations goes like this uh, from paddy 67 you know 67 percent is realized as rice and remaining goes as husk and husk is uh, used as a fuel for power plant and also even the ash which is taken is used you know to make ash bricks ash bricks. And from rice, you know, rice bran oil comes, you know, it, uh, it is used to make edible oil and also rice bran oil and also cattle feed. So, you know, almost uh, null is waste in, you know, Lakshmi Energy's operations. 98% is used. If you see the postures in the company, it is the present existing rice milling capacity is uh, 1.2 million tons. And with significant capacitations in the future, it is forced to become the largest rice processing company in the world. In India and in the world. Uh, if you see, its brand Lakshmi Foods is uh, established not only domestically but also globally. Through this, it can benefit on the price rise in non basmati rice and it will have a price advantage over other other players. And thanks to its branded retailing and energy initiatives, its revenue dependency on FCI has reduced from 70% to 50% now. Uh, and it is best place to benefit on the rise in retail price. You know, uh, due to the present that uh, trade demands of the situations, and now if you see the you know existing power capacity, uh, to the existing power capacity of 30 megawatts is planned to add you know 180 megawatts more in the next two to three years. This will improve its margins further, and also so so does its bottom line. Uh, and revenue has increased the CAGR of 25.2 percent, and by profit at a CAGR of 39.2 percent in the last four years. So if you see uh, at the present price of 158.8, it is trading at a it is trading 7.4 times it is FA 2009-10 EPS. 
this makes it look very cheap compared to other place and as compared to its strong growth prospects as well as strong growth recorded in the past. You know, so we feel very cheap at the present levels and also analyzing its long term PE averages, you know, PE averages and also peer valuations, we arrived at a price target of 206 which is 30% more at uh, the present levels and we expect it to reach an 8 to 10 month duration. This is the drop which uh, shows the PE average in the past and the low levels at which it is trading now. So here are the company financial project and if you see the risks and concerns, the, the FCA is having, you know, presently having storage problem in Punjab and Haryana and if that persists in future that may hit the uh, you know, out uh, intake from these mills to FCA. That may hit the revenue of the company to certain extent. And in the buy product, if the buy product prices fall in, in future, that may affect the revenues of the company. Thanks for listening to our presentation and hope you take questions on this, in this talk.